Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Today uh, I'm going to do my Disneyland Paris haul because I got back from Disney yesterday. I went to Disney yesterday and I got back at the same time because I went for just a day. Um, so I'm gonna do a haul. Uh, I'm just gonna show you everything that I bought but also the free stuff that I got because it was my birthday. So yeah, I'm just going to get into this. Uh, the first thing I got was actually some pixie dust given to me by a very lovely cast member at World of Disney. Um, and it is a balloon. Uh, I chose the Frozen balloon because I was all dressed up with my Frozen stuff and I love Frozen. I already have the mini balloon. Um, so I really wanted the Frozen one. So I got the Frozen one. Uh, the story is that I was paying my stuff at World of Disney. I bought loads of things there. Um... And the cast member, I, uh, yeah, we were talking because I was just, I had so much stuff that it took a long time to put everything on the cash register. So we were talking and I was talking to him that it was my birthday today. Uh, well, yesterday was my birthday. And um, that I was there alone because none of my friends or family could make it. Uh, and he felt really bad for me, uh, which he shouldn't have to because I had a very fun day. Um... But yeah, he wanted to give me some pixie dust, as it's called in Disney terms, uh, which means that a cast member gives you like a voucher uh, for a free drink or free souvenir. Um, and it was so sweet of him. He actually gave me a balloon and a keychain. He gave me a voucher so that I could get both of them, uh, which was so sweet. It really made my day even more special. I'm just going to find the keychain, which I think, yeah, I got this keychain. Um... I chose this keychain. So this was also for for free because I didn't I didn't pay for this. Um because I got given I I got it gifted by a cast member which was so like it just I still kind of can't believe it happened. Uh but the prices of these are just so you know if you want to get them yourself. The keychain was 8.99 and the balloon was 9.99. So that's actually a pretty big gift from Disney as well. Like that's pretty uh, that's a lot of money. So, yeah, that stuff is souvenirs that I got gifted. Uh, and then other free stuff that I got is, um, well, obviously, I've got the park map and the program. These are free for everyone. You can just pick them up. You can pick up as many as you like. Uh, I usually bring a bunch more uh, to also gift to my friends and family uh, that I bring gifts for, that I bring stuff for. Um, also, usually give them this. Um, so, yeah, this is free at Disney. Uh, and then other free things that I got is I got an Olaf snowy hot chocolate at the Old Mill. And I love the frozen cups so much that I asked if I could if I could have a spare one, like a, a clean one that I could keep. And she gave me a spare one. It's a, actually a very cute cup. It just says Disneyland Paris and it has Olaf and Anna and Elsa on there. And I just, I just loved it. I was like, oh, can I get a free one to keep? And she was like, sure, you can have one. And then I went to City Hall and I got my Joyeux Anniversaire button. Uh, that she wrote my name on and I also got an extra button uh, because I couldn't make my Buffalo Bills reservation um, I actually um, I got given a free Buffalo Bills ticket by Disney as well because I'm an annual pass member and you get that for your birthday uh, but my train left at like seven so I couldn't make it to Buffalo Bills um, so they gave me a free, another, another button because she felt bad for me that I had to miss that. So this one says, je célébré, which means I'm celebrating. Um, so yeah, fun thing, to, fun thing to have, um, and to keep. So also very happy with these. Um, then moving on to stuff that I actually bought. I'm not doing this in any particular order. I'm just going to grab my stuff because there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff. So yeah. So the first thing that I'm grabbing here is this fleece throw blanket. This was on a magical offer at the stand. If you don't know what a magical offer is, uh, it's basically when they have a sign up at the cash register that says, oh, if you spend 20 euros, you can get this or this for uh, for 9.99 instead of 19.99. Like that's the, uh, that's mostly, the, most of the time, that's the magical offer. And this time they had a blanket and I think they had espresso coffee cups but i don't drink espresso so i decided to go for the blankets um it's a very cute blanket actually it has the classic gang on there like Minnie, mickey pluto uh daisy donald and goofy and it says disneyland paris at the bottom and it's actually a very nice blanket 
and for only 10 euros i just couldn't resist not to get it i love blankets i take them everywhere with me um so yeah i got that blanket as a magical offer i think i got it at world of disney yeah i got it at world of disney because i spent so much money there that i was actually uh i was actually allowed to get the blanket um so yeah i got that uh, what I'm also going to show you in this haul is stuff that I picked up for people. So uh, they're not gifts, but people actually paid me to get uh, to get it for them. So they're all gifts for my friends. So not really anyone I don't know, but just wanted to also include that in the video. Um, so yeah, the next thing that I see here is this pin. It's a Sorcerer Mickey pin. I decided to get this because I realized I don't have any classic Mickey or Minnie pins. So I really wanted uh, to get the cheapest range of pins. And I was looking for a cute Mickey one and a cute Minnie one. So I got the Sorcerer Mickey one because Sorcerer Mickey is one of my favorite Mickeys. Um, and yeah, I just love this. This was a green pin, so it was $6.99. Uh, the next thing that I got is a classic mini pin. Uh, and she is holding the Eiffel Tower. And this is also a very cute pin, uh, in my opinion. Um, it's 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 really small, but I really like that about it, actually. And this was also a green pin, so it was also $6.99. And the next thing that I got is something that I uh, really wanted, and I was so scared that I didn't have it anymore. Uh, and it is this Rapunzel lanyard. Uh, if you don't know, Rapunzel is probably my favorite princess um i love rapunzel so much and i was i'm planning to do a rapunzel bound in either march or april probably april when it's warmer and i usually like to get a lanyard that matches my outfits so that i can put my annual pass um uh, on the lanyard so this is the rapunzel one it just has rapunzel on there it has a tower on there and it has uh suns on there i really like it and it was $9.99, so for Rapunzel lanyard. All the lanyards are $9.99, except the ones that have a pass holder on them, and they are $12.99, I think. And the Disneyland Paris collection ones are also $12.99. $12 so, next thing that I got is another lanyard, and this is a mini lanyard. And this one does come with a pass holder, so this was $12.99. Um, and it's actually very handy, because you can put your annual pass or your magic pass or something in there. Um, I really like this, and I also got it for the reason that I'm going to do a mini bound in either March or April, still haven't figured it out yet. Um, and I, again, like to match my lanyard with my outfit, uh, and I have a mini dress and a mini backpack, so it's gonna be very cute. Um, so yeah, I got that. Uh, next thing that I got is actually, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> this booster pack from Frozen 2 pin booster pack. Um, I got this mainly for the reason that um, I wanted to have the entire cast of Frozen on my lanyard and they didn't sell Kristoff and Sven separately. Like I already have Elsa, Anna and Olaf, but they don't sell Kristoff and Sven um, apart from this booster pack. So I got the entire booster pack and I actually really love Frozen as you all know. So it's not a bad thing that I have so many Frozen pins now. Um, and yeah really like these um next thing that i got is this bruni pin um i love frozen too as you all know and they had the new bruni pins this was a green pin so this was 6.99 and then they also had another bruni pin but the one where he is on fire and this was a little more expensive this was uh 7.99 but i had to obviously get these as a frozen fan and the last, I think, yeah, the last pin that I got for myself is this Rapunzel pin because I love Rapunzel and this is a new classic um, princess pin. Um, and this was $7.99. So uh, the second tier, I think, like orange is, no, green is the cheapest and then orange comes and orange is $7.99. So not a bad deal for a pin at all. Um... Next thing that I got is something that I already have, and it is this home sweet home mug. But I have my mug in my um in my display, but I also really wanted one to actually use because this mug is, I just love this mug. Like it's a it says home sweet home, which is like true for me, and it's not one of the too expensive mugs. It was ten ninety nine, 
and I think you can put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, I think it's dishwasher safe. So uh, this is going to be super nice to drink tea from and hot chocolate. And I don't have an actual Disneyland mug in use. So this is going to be my first one that I'm actually going to use. So yeah, that's exciting. And also on the back, it says Disneyland Paris. Um, next thing that I got is something that I've been eyeing up ever since I saw it uh, in, I think, last August. Um, and it's this pack. And they are 12 attraction posters, but like vintage attraction posters. And I love these. They were selling these in the Arch of Disney store in Disney Village. And this set is $29.99, which I don't think is too bad for that many posters actually um it comes with a disneyland real world poster uh it's a small world space mountain star tours gibson girl uh adventure isle pirates of the caribbean uh sleeping beauty castle big thunder mountain phantom manor orbitron and the main street um vehicles main street limousine it says so it's actually a really fun set uh, my ideal plan for this was to actually put them all in frames and put them up on a wall. But as you can see, my wall is currently pretty full. So I'm still going to decide on what I'm going to do with this. If I'm getting frames for it. If yes, where I'm going to put the frames in. Because I'm not allowed to to um, put more nails in my wall because my wall is really bad. So it's, gonna, it's, it's not good for the wall to keep... Um, drilling holes into it so uh yeah i don't know what i'm going to do with, I'm going to do with this yet but um i loved it so i got it and the next thing that i got is something that is probably one of the best purchases i've ever made it is this huge sven plush and he is sleeping he's a cuddly sleepy sven plush and i love him like this is so cute. I also saw this in January and I didn't end up getting it because I already got so much other stuff. <clears throat> but I really still wanted it. Um, and this is a Disney Parks exclusive. And it says um, it was $35.99. Which I don't think is a bad deal at all because it's a pretty big plush. And usually for the big plushes, like for the bigger ones at medium, you would pay 50 euros. Uh, and these are, th this one was only 36 euros, which is only like 10 euros more than the medium plush. So yeah, I love him. He's so cute. Uh, and this is actually the only plush that I got because funny story, ever since Bruni got released, I've been looking for him. Um, and then they had him and then I went in January and he sold out. And then I saw like two weeks ago that they restocked him and now I went again and he sold out again. So I still don't have Bruni. Which I'm, and I asked the cast member when they're coming back, and he said at the end of March, uh, the end of May, which is like, I don't get why it's so hard to keep stalking them, but um, yeah, I really hope I still can get Bruni someday, maybe. Um, so yeah. Um, the last thing that I got for myself actually is this backpack. It is a lounge fly backpack, uh, and it's the mini one. And funny story, I actually saw this at Comic-Con in November and I really regretted not getting it. So when they, when I saw online that they were selling this one at Disneyland, I thought, okay, that's my chance. I'm getting another lounge fly backpack. And the lounge fly backpacks are all the same price at Disneyland and they're all $79.99. Um, which is really expensive for a bag. I'm aware of that. But, and it's also a mini backpack, like a, not also mini mouse but also a tiny backpack um but you can actually fit stuff in here i found out like i can fit my water bottle in here i can fit my like all the stuff that i want to keep in my park bags i can fit in a lounge fly bag um and i just love the lounge fly bag like love love the lounge fly bags i'm so sorry i just woke up um and they're very sturdy they're made of fake leather um so yeah i really like them i think that i also had uh, a primark bag like this and they were 16 euros i think in primark but i do you definitely see and notice a big difference like this is a very big bulky backpack whereas um um the 
Whereas the Primark backpacks are more like floppy backpacks that are out of shape more. Um, so yeah, but I really love this. This is probably one of my favorite things I got. And this was also my biggest purchase of this trip. So yeah, lunch fly backpack. And now I'm moving on to stuff that I got for other people. So the first thing that I got is this Marvel jacket. I have a friend and she loves Marvel. And I saw this jacket when I was shopping in Disney Village and I went into the Disney fashion store and I saw the jacket and I was like, okay, I'm just going to send her photos of this because I think she might want it and she did want it. So I picked it up for her. This is a size medium. It's actually a pretty big jacket. But I, what I like about it is that in the, on the inside, it has all the Marvel characters in there. Like how cool is that? I think it's super, super cool that they have all the, the characters in there. I couldn't, uh, this is all the comic characters, and to be really honest with you, I wouldn't be able to tell them all apart, except from, except from, like, the obvious ones, like Captain America and Spider-Man and stuff, and Thor, but, yeah, my friend is a really big Marvel fan, and she will definitely be able to tell them apart. Um, on the front, it says, Marvel Comics, Marvel Est, um, something, 1939 group, so, that says, on, that's, that it says on the front, and on the back, it says, property of marvel comics and then estimated um of estate i don't know uh 1939 and she loved it so i picked it up for her and it was 69.99 and this is actually a pretty big jacket like i tried on the large and i tried on the medium and the large was just so big that i decided to get the medium for her because she's about the same size as me um so i got medium for her um so yeah that that one and then another thing that I picked up for another friend is I picked up this Bruni pin for my friend Michelle, who really wanted this. And this is the same Bruni pin that I got, so this is $6.99. Um, and then the last thing that I picked up is for my friend Destiny, who really wanted this mug, the Peter Pan one. And these um, are very popular. <coughs> and they were actually sold out. Uh, she went two weeks ago and they were all sold out and I was very lucky because on the day that I was there like yesterday I got a message from DLP report on Twitter saying that they have restocked in Emporium and I started I see I saw them um, Restocking them in World of Disney as well. So I picked up one for her um, to send to her and Yeah, she just really wanted this so Peter Pan's her favorite movie and this just has tink on it uh, and then on the inside it has peter and the mermaids and on the back it says disneyland paris um and this was this was 12.99 and it's not dishwasher safe so you cannot put this in the dishwasher um but yeah it is very cute and um i personally love souvenirs that really have the disneyland paris written on them uh because you can see it's from disneyland paris like i just love that I don't know why, but I, I love getting things that actually say Disneyland Paris on them. And I also got a bunch of these shopping bags to put all my stuff in. So I got two large ones because I also had also had to put the balloon in one on the train. And I got two medium ones as well. So another bunch of reusable bags that I already have loads of. <laughs> Yay. But yeah, this was my haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know what you thought of it. If you have any questions... Feel free to leave them below and follow my Disney Instagram, which is called Disney Eve. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.